Good day everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the stopwatch function in this model Casio AE1300 and it's going to be a bit different from the other models. But first let's move to the stopwatch mode, so from this timekeeping mode, we press the mode button once and now we are in the STW stopwatch mode. As you can see here we have two lines of numbers, the top one 0000, 000, 000 and then the bottom one this is still showing the current time. Okay, now we press the start button to start the stopwatch. Both lines of numbers are showing they are counting. The top one is the count of the stopwatch and the bottom one is the elapsed time. So what's the difference? If we press the start button once again, it will stop the stopwatch, but it will not stop the elapsed time. Okay? Now if we press again to rerun the stopwatch, the stopwatch is running again. And then this one, the elapsed time still running. So no change for the elapsed time, it still runs whatsoever. Again, if we press the start stop button to pause the stopwatch, the stopwatch is pausing or stopping now, and the elapsed time is still running. So why is that? Okay, now I press the start button to run again the stopwatch. As you can see here, the STW is blinking, meaning that the stopwatch is running, and then the elapsed time is still running. So imagine if you are a referee, and you are managing or handling a match and there are some injury so during the injury or the incident you can press this one the start stop button to pause the time counting but the elapsed time will still run okay and then if the injury is already handled you can press again the start button to run again the stopwatch and in the end of the half or in the end of the match you can calculate how long is the injury time and you can add that to the game. So for example, this one, the gap or the difference between the elapsed time and the stopwatch is about, let's see, it's almost 30 seconds. So it's almost 30 seconds that you can add as the injury time. So let's see, it's 20. My math is not the best, I know. <laughs> it's 27 or 28. So you can add that 27 or 28 seconds as the injury time. And then to reset the stopwatch, you can press the start stop button. So you can see here the stopwatch is stopping. The elapsed time is still running, that's okay. And then to reset, you can press the adjust button and hold like this, okay? And all will reset. Stopwatch reset and the elapsed time will return to the current time. One more thing that is cool with this watch is that the stopwatch can be set with target. So for example, if you are managing or handling a 45 minutes match, you can set the elapsed time to have target like 45 minutes. But let's now try for something smaller than that. So to set the target elapsed time, you can press this adjust button and hold on the stopwatch mode. Okay, press and hold this adjust button and now it shows TGT, target time. And then we can change this one, the blank one, to become from 1 minute up to 60 minutes. So to do that, press the light or start button, which one that you need. So this will increase the number and this will reduce the number up to 60. So for example, if I set the target time by 1 minute and then, okay, done, 1 minute. And I press the adjust button to exit from this uh, setting. Okay, now we have a stopwatch with target elapsed time one minute and if I run this stopwatch okay and let's say if there's injury like 10 seconds so I will press this start stop button and let's wait for about 10 seconds okay 12 13 16 so now it's okay 16 meaning yes we have 10 seconds of injury time so let's see and wait I will show you again after one minute of elapsed time what will happen Okay, let's see. Yes, it will beep at the target time for the elapsed time. Meaning that this will give you information that we are already achieving the target time for the elapsed time. And maybe if you are referee, then you can stop the game or for the second half, you can inform that the time is reached 45 minutes or something. And then you will add this case, we have yeah around 10 seconds of injury time. And yes, after that you can stop 
the time like this press the start stop button okay the stopwatch will stop and then again to reset you can press and hold the adjust button okay and then if you want to change the target time you can press and hold the adjust button and do the same thing for this one so you might want to set like 45 and so on it's up to you whatever you need okay now i will return to zero since i'm not going to use this for any target time for now okay and that's it for the stopwatch function in ae1300 hopefully this is useful and see you again in the next video bye